Load the hydrochemistry underscore 01.rwdat sample file. Select the map easy map option. Set the X or easting to the datasheet column that contains the X coordinates. Set the Y or the northing to the datasheet column that contains the Y coordinates. Set the Z or elevation to the sodium column. Although we won't actually be using the Z within this exercise, it's just there in case we wanted to contour something. Click on the Map Layers Options button. Turn off everything except for the Symbols and Symbol Labels options. Turn off all the Symbols options except for the Column Based option. Set the Symbol column to the Datasheet column titled Symbol. This tells the program to pull the symbol designs for the map from the Symbol column in the Datasheet. Set the dimensions to Uniform. Set the symbol size to 1.0. Select the Symbol Labels Content option. Activate the Southwest, Northwest, Northeast, and Southeast labeling and select different geochemistries for each data column. Click the OK button to close the map options. Click the Process button to create the map. Minimize the Rules and Filters panel. Use the magnifier to enlarge a portion of the map. Click on the Map Layers Options button again. Turn off all the symbol labels except for the Northeast and deactivate the Fill Background option. Click on the Leader Lines tab and select the option that plots a line from the symbol to the label. Close this menu and regenerate the diagram. Now, let's convert this to 3D. Select the File Export Rock Plot 3D option. Select the Float Projection and set the elevation to 1770. Uncheck the Omit Text option. Click the Process button. When the points appear within a new Rock Plot 3D window, select the File Append option. Select the StratigraphyModel.rw3D file that we created in an earlier exercise. The model is now displayed directly below the points.